Hey everyone, this is going to be a pretty quick one. So Canon has released their webcam software, a beta version to be exact. And this video is for anyone who owns any of these cameras. And I'm sure some other cameras may get added in the future. However, Canon throughout this month has pushed this software and made it possible for us to use our Canon DSLRs and mirrorless cameras in this list as webcams. It was possible before, and as you can see, um, there still are some white lines which I haven't removed properly, but this is a capture of the Canon EOS remote software. And this is how it looks. So this is the software that we used to be able to use. And if you wanna live stream, you had to crop in the sides. So for example, you'd have to crop in the video up to here to here so that you would remove the whole frame around here and this is the final result well obviously there's still some tiny adjustments that need to be made but you can live stream with this camera you can record yourself the quality is not the best however it works there is another solution which is called the sparko cam and sparko cam is a software and application that also allows you to control your camera this way but what it does it also creates this video source which you can add to various software skype or any sort of other thing that you guys are using or well obs the software that i've just used for live streaming so from this i can gather that there is a possibility to take your camera's feed from the usb cable and capture it however the, there is a, a slight slight issue so for example if you're live streaming and you're gaming this is what you're seeing you're usually seeing anywhere around well this is 11 percent, so it's not not too bad this time however i did see the usage up to 20 percent, and means you are basically wasting your cpu by having this window up by cropping in by doing all these things trying to capture the window and it's it's very unnecessary because you may need that cpu power for something else or something else that is not streaming maybe you're gaming maybe you want to also record your gaming footage and that's the issue i've had i can stream but I, if i try to record i have to then step back on the frame rate of my game because i can't really game stream record at the same time and it's mostly because software is like that and are just wasting cpu so i'll be trying to figure out if this new software allows you to not have any sort of window and just have that feed going straight from the camera into the OBS recording software and we'll see that. So once you pull up this page, it's linked in the description. Uh, you can see this is an official Canon page. You have to choose your camera. So the same list that I showed you before, this is the list and I'm going to choose EOS Rebel T7i. So as you can see, this is the new webcam utility beta 0.9 for Windows. And it's been released 28th of April, 2020. We have to download it. It is a pretty small file. Seems like it's only 1.8 megabytes in size. And I'm actually doing everything in real time. I, I've not rehearsed this or I've, I haven't installed the software beforehand. So this is the live experience. And oh, is that it? That's no, oh, it's been it's been installed. And it says that's pretty much it. So well, okay. Now how do we how do we add it? So let's do this <laughs> this interesting looking thing where you're gonna have a uh, a wormhole and let's add a video capture device so i'm gonna say canon camera and then i'm going to click ok and choose eos webcam utility beta i'm going to say just device default and ok here we go. Seems like the software is appearing here and it is ready to capture. However, uh, I have been capturing this video 
with the remote live view. Uh, it's the EOS remote application, which I'm going to now close. So we're going to lose all the video here, but I'm going to just save it. And once we're done with that, I shall close everything. And we hopefully should be able to get the feed maybe Ooh, how do i how do i know if we're getting the feed oh here you go so i've closed the eos remote application and we have the feed oh wait nope no feed anymore i think i've just i i, th I think i broke something having issues where uh, it just basically says not responding um, so we, we, we've had the video, we've had it here, like it's fine. So it's, it is possible to, uh, to get your camera feed, but it feels to me that after I've double clicked on the source, it just crashed everything. Um, I'll be, I'll, I'll try to get everything back up because it's been recording a recording of everything that I've just done. And if I lose it, it would suck. And yeah. Okay guys, so it seems like here we have it. It's back up. So OBS is now able to record. Uh, let me just put it put it here so you can see. We are getting the feed and it, it looks pretty okay. So I'm just wanting to, I wanted to test the doesn't feel like the delay is so bad. I, I, I feel like 250 milliseconds used to be the delay that I would get when I was recording with that DIY solution of just capturing the window and cropping in. However, this feels okay. So let me just try and double click it again. Here we go. So that it seems like it didn't break this time. Let me just change it to custom and uh, one to one what is that so yeah i feel like device uh, device defaults are just just best and buffering enable capture audio video it's been opening and closing but now it's done and uh, feels like we are well looking pretty okay let me let me just transform and fit this to screen so you could see the quality difference maybe from the, the previous video. I wouldn't recommend this being your sole recording method. It would obviously be way better to just run it off the camera. However, from what I can see now, it's pretty usable, especially as a webcam. And if you can scale it down, if you can, you, I don't know, make it like that and just have it somewhere in the corner, you know, if you're gaming, if you're recording, if you're uh, recording a tutorial or something, I think this is what Canon is aiming for. I think this is, this is what, why they're doing this. This is the exact thing, the exact time, the right time to do so. Allow people to use their Canon cameras as web cameras. It's been possible. However, you see all the hacky ways that you have to put together to have it work. Sparkle cam obviously is a good thing. And I almost purchased it. It's around $50, I think. And I wanted to buy it because it was promising this functionality, which now is possible straight from the Canon website or company or however you want to call this whole interaction. But I'm pretty sure this is the official driver, official utility created by Canon, not someone else. So you can feel safe if you trust Canon. This is nice. This is what we want to see. And uh, yeah, that is cool. So this is how you use it. This is what sort of quality you may get. You don't want to probably scale it full screen and use it, but you can for sure use this as a web camera or probably other software for video conferencing. I've heard there are some issues and some quirks where it doesn't appear as a source in video conferencing apps. However, hopefully with the future, this gets solved. And if it doesn't appear as a video source, you can simply go to OBS, install this 
simple plugin. Well, it's just a double click and it's called the virtual camera. So if you're on here, you can go to tools, virtual cam, and let me just bring it over to here. And that's it. It just creates you a video source, OBS camera. I'm probably going to just quickly show it off on uh, here on Discord and see what. So if we go to test video, this is Droid Cam. This is a, a software that I use to, to get video source from your Android phone. Here we go, OBS camera. So that is cool. And uh, what about that? EOS webcam utility beta. Maybe I'd have to close. Maybe I'd have to close OBS. Here we go. No. Uh, possibly. Well, here we go. If I deactivate it here, maybe that does does something. It doesn't. Well, yes. So this is an issue that I heard exists. However, if you have OBS and you have your Canon camera and uh, you crash the application again. Oh, here we go. If you activate it. But as you can see, OBS camera here provides you a full screen preview of what the camera would have if the camera was active. And I don't know why it's not right now. It is just a beta software. There is a chance that I just need to restart it. The camera is doing something, but as you can see, it's struggling to work. Oh, I also heard that you may need to restart your PC, which I haven't done. And then, well, I guess I'm fortunate enough to, to have to have had this thing working for at least at all, you know. So to sum up, I think it's a very good move that Canon is doing because some people do have Canon cameras. And if you want to get a video feed into your computer and your computer is a desktop and it doesn't have any sort of video device and you want to do conferencing, especially amid this quarantine and everything, you need a way of recording video like that. So in my opinion, it's a very good thing. I like the direction that Canon is going. It is a still a beta software. So now I'm recording internally on the camera because I wasn't able to bring back up the EOS remote software because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're clashing together. EOS remote is trying to take the feed from the camera and then the beta software is trying to get the feed from the camera and it's just a clash happening. However, if you've never had EOS remote on your computer in the first place, then this is probably not going to happen. I'll try to solve these things and have them work better together. And yeah, I just hope that this solves my high CPU usage by the EOS remote application. And also having to crop in the window and everything, because for example, if you're playing a game with a four by three stretch resolution, this is usually a CSGO setup where you just aren't playing the actual monitor's native resolution, then that window gets squished. And if you've been cropping in the window, getting the feed from the window to your broadcasting software, your camera may appear out of place. And this hopefully solves everything. It's just plug and play from what I can see, but it's just not there yet. It's a beta software. However, I'm very glad that they did this. And I hope this will be helpful for some of you. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and I am on Twitch from time to time. I'm trying to establish a schedule still. However, I'm streaming game development, sometimes some gaming. So stop by, say hi. For now, see you later.